Sun Valley. I'm Jenny Steiner and I've come from Boise for the third year to participate in the Morel Festival put on by the Wood River Land Trust. Okay, I'd start looking for the morels um, in kind of filtered light, filtered shade, not in the heavy grass, uh, closer to some of the trees under the cottonwoods. Right now I'm not seeing any mushrooms, but that doesn't mean anything. Also up in this area, up in through here, you'll see there's less grass up here and more soil and duff. That would be an area that I would look for first. Okay, I'm going to walk back over here to the trail and see if there's anything on down toward the river. I can hear the river. You know what is so nice about this area in through here? Down in the Boise Valley, we don't have uh, open land like this much left anymore along the Boise River. We used to hunt a lot of morels down there, and uh, it's all pretty much built up. This is, this is tremendous. I really like what the uh, Land Trust is doing. Try along here, see if we can find something that's opened up a little more. Okay, now this is great habitat. It's open. There's soil. You've got a little bit of grasses. You've got dirt. You've got warmth. There really should be morels in here. They could be yellow, or it's late enough you could have black morels in here, which are harder to find. Oh, there's a morel. Now, Okay, when you pick a morel, you can pick it up, pinch it off, leave the stump in the ground or not. It really doesn't matter. This smells really good. Uh, sometimes if they're old and you smell them, they smell like a dirty dish rag, really sour smelling. This one, this one smells great. This is a good morel to eat. And there are, especially with the yellow morels, you can find a false morel, a verpa, that looks an awful lot like it, except it hangs down over the stem and it's not completely attached here. And those are not good to eat, although there are people who eat them. It's never a good idea. Well, this is beautiful in, in here. It's, it's the right temperature for morels. Uh, and they'll be here for a while unless it starts getting really warm. And you don't always have to look in a burn. You can find them just in areas underneath fir trees. But again, it has to be open. Uh, not a lot of vegetation. Uh, another good place to look for morels if there's an area that's been logged recently within the year. But down along the river, it's all good habitat until it gets too warm. Oh! Here is another one. Well, that means four morels. Well, that's a good one. Morels for dinner. Oh, this is polenta with morels, and it looks like a little prosciutto, and a real nice garnish of tomatoes and peppers. It's wonderful. After hunting morels all day and finding morels, believe it or not, we did twice with two different groups. To be able to eat them is great, and I didn't have to cook them. <laughs> Brett did a wonderful job.